All right. Thank you, Erica. 14 minutes before noon, and it's time to have our midday visit with Joe Martone. Good morning, Joe. Good late morning, Larry. <laughs> How are you today? So, um, yeah. I, I, the, the topic is not dad jokes, but did you happen to hear our dad joke segment this I morning? I heard of bad jokes. <laughs> you didn't hear the dad joke? Oh, you're a funny man, Larry. I mean, you are the funniest man alive almost. Oh, you heard that part. Uh-huh. <laughs> uh-huh. See, you won't you laugh at anything. You never know when I'm listening. Yeah, but you won't laugh at anything. Anything that I say that is funny. <laughs> to will, who? Will, to you. Why won't it? Because I don't like you or what? Why? Yeah, no. <laughs> yeah, no, what? Aha! No, it's not that you don't like me. It's just that I don't, I don't like know your what jokes. it is. You, no, you just, you just don't like laughing at my jokes. Are they funny? Let me see. Uh, <laughs> uh, 747. <laughs> boom, right over his head. Uh, why but. wasn't the woman happy with the Velcro she bought? Why wasn't, what, uh, why wasn't the woman happy with the Velcro she bought? Oh, it kept separating. It was a total ripoff. Oh, okay. No, that's not a good one. Huh? Okay. Um, <laughs> if Robin doesn't even laugh at it, it's got to be better. <laughs> Larry, you ready? <laughs> World. <laughs> uh. It's all in the delivery, Larry. It's in the delivery. What do you call a fish with two knees? A what? 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 Hey? What do you call a fish with two knees? <sighs> a kneeler. A two knee fish. Now that's funny. <laughs> See? Got Robin to laugh. That's funny. You never heard of a toonie fish? You never had In toonie? oil or water. You never had toonie fish sandwiches? Yes. All right, all right. I, I understood. I understood the premise. <laughs> <laughs> it, I was interrogated over the theft of a, of a cheese toasty. A cheese toast? Man, they really grilled me. Yes. <laughs> Is that the punchline? That's it. That yeah. was the punchline. Really they gave me a third degree. <laughs> oh, okay. What do you call a deer with no eyes? A deer with no eyes. Yeah. Blindsided. You know? Headlights? No. A deer with no eyes. Right. A deer with no, no eyes. A deer with no eyes. All right. Eyes. What is it? No idea. No eye. <laughs> I'm going to stop drinking water pretty soon. <laughs> uh, why can't you hear a pterodactyl go to the bathroom? <laughs> See, he's laughing before anybody else laughs. <laughs> oh, this is my favorite one. What do you call a pterodactyl? What, what do you call a pterodactyl? Pterodactyl. Why can't you hear a pterodactyl go to the bathroom? <sighs> it was in a silent movie. <laughs> oh, I thought you were almost on. <laughs> no, because the P is silent. <laughs> I like that silent. one. <laughs> <laughs> All right, I do have anyway. a different topic. I do have a different yeah, topic. Yeah, you and your IP address. It's okay. North. Um, <laughs> did you hear about that? The, the, the beer? The IP that, address, yes. It wasn't IP address. It was a beer. Oh, IP brew? Something about Indian brew, right? Yeah. <laughs> Do you, have you ever had Indian beer? I don't know. Really? India Pale I, I did, Ale. but it just ran right through me. So. <laughs> <laughs> India Pale Ale. <coughs> IPA. IPA. That's racist. All right. Pale Ale. <laughs> All right. I told you yesterday I wanted to continue doing what we were started yesterday. Okay. And uh, yesterday we went to uh, Connecticut. Connecticut. Today we're going to go to North Carolina. North Carolina. <laughs> All right. Yeah. All right. And then tomorrow we'll do Robin's State of... Uh, Where they say hi to you no, no matter if you know him or not. Even the officers, even the state police. Oh, yeah. All right, so now I'm going to, like I did yesterday, I'm going to go through this list of things, and you tell me which one you want to hear about. All right. Um, The Hole in the Wall restaurant, that is the best BLT shop in North Carolina. I've heard of it, but I don't know where it is. Do you want to hear about it? Tell me more. All right. It's um, It's a hole in a wall. It definitely looks like a hole in the wall. (laughs) It's called Merritt's Grill in Chapel Hill. Yes, I've heard of it. Never been there, but I've heard of it. Yeah. But it's good. The best BLT in the state. Well, I don't Bacon, know. Bacon, lettuce, and tomato. Yeah. Right, now right. you're making me hungry. Connect. Uh, let's see. North Carolina's wacky. No, you don't want to wacky water parks. We did that in Connecticut. How about- wacky water parks. <laughs> oh, yes. I remember them well. How about this quirky little bakery in North Carolina right out of a storybook? <laughs> okay. Cool. You know what that one is? Sure. Uh, Sugar Island on Sugar Island. <laughs> Sugar Island on Sugar Island. Where is Sugar Island? Just off the coast of North Carolina. <laughs> oh, is it a baker shop? It's a bakery. Yeah, on on uh, Sugar Island. And they make how different- sweet it is. And it's yeah. that's what it's called, Sugar Island. Yeah, is that sure? nice. Sugar Island Bakery. Okay. Okay. Food again. He goes to next. <laughs> All right. Next. All right. Do so you want something other than food? Uh, 
there's a hike in North Carolina that leads you straight to an abandoned World War II bunker. We can do that oh, one. Oh, nice. Wow. You don't care about that one? Uh, How tr- about the Wizard of Oz? Do they have that one on? <laughs> no. Is there a Wizard of Oz Up in Boone, North Carolina, in that area, there's a, there used to be an amusement park for the Wizard of Oz. And it's really? It's only open once a year now. We got really? defunct and it got vandalized and everything, but you go to Yellow Brick Road and Hotel. Oh, yards, wow. And it was a little amusement park they had up there. And all those years, I would have went, to, that would have been a beautiful motorcycle ride up there. I didn't know about it until I, <laughs> I seen it on um Facebook down here. Uh-huh. Oh my gosh, but, isn't uh, that something? Uh, in the fall, they open it up once a year, and and, uh, and it, it was uh, like the Wizard of Oz and the and the Emerald City and the whole ten yards. Oh, but, I bet. But that it was, was uh, folksy. That's uh-huh. the word. It was a folksy. folksy. Yeah. All right. Now you always say you like to go to a, uh, a ghost town. Ghost town in the sky? Any ghost town? Just a real ghost town? Oh, a real ghost town? Yes, right. yes. All right. Well, there's a real ghost mansion in North Carolina. Uh huh. Do you know about this one? Which one? It's, there's more than one. It's the old homestead for the once thriving Buckland Plantation. Buckland. On North Carolina 37. I guess that's State Road 37. At State Road 1220. NC 37 at State Road 1220. 1220. Wow. Does it say what town or anything? Uh, the city is Buckland? It's the Buckland Plantation. No, that's the oh. gentleman's name, I think. All right, it's it's at, it's at the, uh, mm. near the Virginia State Line. I thought it'd be up that way. Wow, that's... Off of Blue Ridge Parkway? According to records, the main house at Buckland Plantation was built in 1795, mm. uh, built in federal style with a central staircase that had rooms to either side. It is believed to be the oldest remaining federal style home of its kind. Um, no, that could well. I would presume it's up towards the Blue Ridge Parkway, but it could be lower further. Wow, down. this is de- this is used for movies. They use this in a lot of movies. Uh-huh. But people who spend the night there say it is haunted. Really? Uh huh. That real scary. I wouldn't place. mind staying in a haunted house as long as I was with somebody. Yeah. I wouldn't want to be by myself. No, uh uh-uh. uh. No. Has to be in the same room too. Yeah, uh, yeah. That person would have to be in the same room. Then you could, you know. Ah. You got more gumption when you went with somebody. I think so. Yeah. The ghost likes panties, apparently. Panties? Panties. Uh-oh. He's not going to like me or she. <laughs> <laughs> the floor seems to be in fantastic shape. People spend the night report missing panties every morning. Well, see, now what we have to do is just go there, Larry, and pack some extra <laughs> panties and hang them up. <laughs> hang them up off the lampshades and watch them vanish. <laughs> <laughs> the search of 122 acres revealed none of the panties hidden anywhere. They're somewhere in the house. Watch wow. it. That's wow. crazy. Okay. All right. Let's That's see what, pretty what cool. else is in North Carolina. Little mice. Panty like stealing one. thief. <laughs> That's a mouse. It's a, it's a raccoon or something takes them. <laughs> yeah, maybe. I got a raccoon and takes the, the panties. Yeah. <laughs> the raccoon panty. Ra- yeah. ra- raccoon <laughs> panty thief. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's see what else we have here. Uh, Good a, morning. Let's see. The beautiful bridge hike in North Carolina that will mesmerize you. A bridge hike? Yeah. That's on Grandfather's Mountain? Mm, let me see. It's uh, half a mile up or something it is? Let's see. The the trail is just under three miles out and back, and it's located on the former right-of-way of the North Fork hey, uh, Southern Railroad. And while there are bridges to cross, there are a variety of other bridges to just gawk at. Lots of bridges, apparently. I don't gawk at a bridge unless there's a pretty woman on it. <laughs> gawk at the bridge. And there's a railroad? Looks like it's an old railroad bridge, yeah. Nice. I like old railroads. I, I, I'm, not, I'm not a fanatic for railroads, uh-huh. but get me near one or a big, big diesel engine. Oh, yeah, I like that. I like that. This awesome attraction in North Carolina is the first of its kind in the world. Ooh, that looks interesting. What, is what was it? Uh, in w- quietly tucked into the sleepy estuary town of Washington. Washington, North Carolina? Yeah. That's near the coast. I've been there. Oh. Uh, let's yeah. see. Nothing is more defining than creating the first of something. The North Carolina estuarium is just that. Located in the heart of an estuary comprised of more than 30,000 square miles of watershed, the North Carolina Estuarium celebrates that area with the rivers where the rivers meet the sea. Hmm. So I guess this is like a museum, huh? I presume. I, don't, I, didn't, I didn't stop there. Uh-huh. I was in Washington, but I didn't see that. But it was pretty up there. Yeah. It's it not too real. far from Wilmington, Washington. Lemur oh, Park. Okay. Have you ever been to the Lemur Park? <laughs> 
Lemur? Yeah. No. Do they have lemurs in there? Yeah, yeah see? lemur alone. Huh? Yeah. Really? <laughs> the little known lemur park in North Carolina, everyone in your family will love. Huh. Most people don't realize there are nearly 1,000 lemurs in this park. Are they native species? No, they spit at you a lot. <laughs> they're, uh, they're from the island of Madagascar, but they oh. live in this area of North Carolina. The Duke Lemur Center lo- currently has 17 species, 1,000 residents. What's more, you can take a tour and see them up close. Oh, my goodness. A trip is certain to wow everyone in your family as lemurs jump from limb to limb yeah. right before your eyes. Wow, and oh, they don't bother the tourists. Look I how guess. cute they are! Wow. Yeah, they're cute. I'm gonna I'm gonna de- digress. Yeah. To Connecticut again. Okay. You were mentioning something, and something clicked in my head, and I was surprised it wasn't on the list. It's the trolley museum. It's this. Oh. It's, oh yeah. You have to find it. It's in East Haven, Connecticut. It's uh-huh. it's tucked away, but they restore old trolleys from way back when. Oh really? And they have a track. That goes down. You ride the trolley all the way down to the end of the track, through the through the swamps oh, and everything. Really? And then it ends. And then the the uh, conductor gets because they used to run on wires up above. Uh-huh. He comes out and he pulls. And then you stand up from your seats, and the back of the seats you flip them to the other side so you face the other way. They they flip. Oh, and then it goes. Yeah, they the flip. Opposite They're on a hinge and they flip. Yeah, and then you go back the other oh way. Oh my gosh, there's a bunch. And of it was in a movie. They used it in the in the last uh, James Cagney, the last movie he was in. Oh my gosh. Right, listen Charlie to this. Down. Here, here here's some. Wow. I digress. Um, some haunted attractions are just gimmicks and fun, but this one is based on the real terrifying history of this attraction. Only runs during the weekdays of October, so hurry over and experience this poltergeist-like haunting for yourself. It is a uh, trolley at the Connecticut Trolley Museum in oh. East, East Windsor. East Windsor. Is that the same thing? One. No, East Haven, I said. Okay, this one says East Windsor. Mm-hmm. Um, since you can only take this haunted ride on Fridays and Saturdays in October, you need to hurry before Halloween season comes to an end. It's at 58 North Road in East Windsor. East Windsor. So it's haunted. And they East say Windsor, this... East Windsor, East Windsor, East Windsor locks, I guess, to us, oh. uh, Hartford. That's towards Hartford. But when you oh. started talking about it, I looked it up real quick, and no, there are a bunch of them in, in Connecticut. Yeah, but East Haven is, the, well, East Haven is the largest one I know because they have a, a trolley barn, I guess you want to call it. And you can walk. Oh, my. And there's, and there's a society there that repairs them a little uh-huh. bit of time. And you can walk walk through them. It's, it's like a. It's called the Shoreline Trolley Museum, East Haven. That's it. The there Shoreline it Trolley Museum. There you go. Oh, you found how it. interesting. I got to go there. Take a three mile trip through the woods and wetlands. This is the trolley ride that you can take from the museum. That's what I was talking about. Nice. Nice. It's three miles? I didn't realize that long. That's what it says. That is great. Like I said, it was in the movie with uh, the last movie. Uh, James Cagney was in. Do you know where Thomaston is? Thomaston, Connecticut. Hmm. The Railroad yes, Museum of New England, Na- uh, Naugatuck Railroad Company. Is in oh, Naugatuck. Okay, I know where Naugatuck. Thomaston. Yeah. Now, now it rings a bell. There's a lot of railroad museums up in Connecticut. Look at all of them. Yeah. Sorry, I digress. No, that's good. But that must have been the birthplace of the. Railroad trolley? cars and the trolley and stuff. No, new, new. Why is it called Connecticut? Does it connect something? That's an Indian name, is it not? I don't know. I oh. 1638, it was established. Connecticut. Oh, my gosh. New Haven, Connecticut. Right now, 15, wow. I mean, 11, 59, 30. <laughs> Almost. <laughs> no. Right well, on. if you're not doing anything and you're hungry, stop by Pasta Fair, Veterans Helping Veterans. 15% of the proceeds goes to Veterans Helping Veterans. And I have, the, I have the flyer. Give me a call. Remember, this is WOCA Ocala. <laughs> Fox News Radio. I'm Chris Foster. Do out the Saturday.